upstairs. Oh! Down there, okay. Door over to the right. Bunch of garbage all over. Fishing batteries, paint guns. Hmm. Stuff that's good to know about, but that I don't actually want to take right now. Especially since I'm full. Still haven't run into a door I need a key for. What the hell? It's gonna be like a back way out of here? So lots of high-tech stuff, buildables, vacuum cleaner, sure. Where the hell is this leading? Alright, this gun has dropped in condition considerably. Now I could keep using it with the plans of throwing it out at some point, but I actually just think I want a more effective weapon, so I'm gonna switch... Switch the laser rifle again. Well, you know what? I'm gonna switch the plasma rifle just to get a feel for it. See how it compares. Reloading bench. Is there gonna be like another base of operations down here or something? Um, I guess we can break this down. I don't know, I've mostly been storing these bullets, frankly, just because in case I need them later, but actually these are gonna lighten me a little bit if I break them down, so let's do that. Anything I'm not using. There. We can rebuild them later if need be. Nothing in there. A path up and a door. I wonder if this is his door. Nope. another reload. Hmm, we got a workbench in here. This is a hell of a little base of operations. Might as well recharge that stuff. Huh, rocket room with a bunch of stuff. Intercom. Hello? Who's down there? It's me! What's the deal with all the rockets down here? That's none of your business, smooth skin. Jason was very clear. Get rid of the demons, then report back. He didn't tell you to poke around down there. Uh-huh. Got it. Alright, listen. If you guys want to fling yourselves into the sun, I don't really have a problem with that. Mm, ooh, stim pack And medics. And yeah, actually, I should have remembered fighting that big guy, especially. The medics, but I'm always going to forget that stuff. A space helmet? No, wait! And a space suit worth tons of money. Probably overloaded now. Yeah, I didn't actually get a message for it, but I'm moving slow. Awesome. DT4, yes. And a space suit. DT10? Amazing. Let's drop this leather. How much is that way? Seven. It's lighter than the le I don't know if I'll ever be able to repair it, but at this point the leather is beyond. This is awesome. How do I look at myself again? <gasps> Sweet! Oh, that's so cool! I can't really get a good view, because it's too tight in here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm actually going like, to dedicate this to a proper save. Hello! Oh, cool. And I'm using laser guns. I'm totally out of something. Something cool. A comic book or something. Okay, let's see where this leads. Mojave Wasteland. So I've just found a back door in. Where am I? Huh. Oh, radiation pit here. That's good. And a corpse. Some steady. Cat eye. Absinthe. Taking in lots of radiation. So... 
Alright, well... Presumably, I have to keep killing dudes, don't I? Get rid of the night skin, nightkin in the basement. Alright, well, let's run back in there and keep exploring. There's probably, like, one left in some sort of stupid place somewhere. This... That is not the way. This is the way. Alright. So. Great, so I gotta hunt these f invisible guys. This is so annoying. Maybe if I had, like, really high perception. I didn't actually go in this direction, though, so there could still be something. Or did I? I guess I did. Hmm. No blips on my radar to make my life easier. Close the stairs, but no, I won't leave them open. Okay. So, looking at the local map. Yeah, I guess I didn't go down this way. Hmm, one's already dead. Ah! Come and get it, you big dumb. What? Hey, you're not one of those things out there. No, I'm not. Who the hell are you? I'm me. Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? In so many well, words. good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Well, I already did all the hard work. Um... You don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Oh, totally, uh, um... Or maybe I would have to tell you. <laughs> anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Alright, uh... Looks like I have to kill you. Why? Why would I have to kill him? Uh, how'd you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. Uh -huh. This was a tactical choice, all right? Okay. I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Right. Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, what too. What happened was... I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Mm -hmm. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Seems reasonable. Um... How do I get you out? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. I don't know, I've been She's down there. probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Hmm. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Okay. Uh, why would I have to kill him? Uh, I'll try to find your friend. Thanks. Let me know. Do I have a blip? Finally? Yes. Who's been imprisoned by the Nightkin? Hey, hopefully this will lead me to the last Nightkin. That wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like either on the other side of this wall or on the next level. No, this leads me out. That's not right. Hmm. Maybe down. Hmm. 
down this way. Oh, here we go. Here's another room. Save. Open. Yeah, definitely haven't been in here. Bam! I Oh, did I? Oh, I took out his arm, so he's got no weapon. There he goes. Shit, good weapon. There we go. Power to vault. What the hell was this guy carrying? Incinerator. And oh, I'm encumbered. Now, last time I found an incinerator, I was like, Psst, I don't want a heavy weapon. Apparently it's actually an energy weapon. 10 damage, 20 DPS. Oh, no, it's too heavy. It's not even worth that much. Now... That doesn't even weigh very much. Jail key. Good. Stealth boy. Uh, you know what? Ah, what the hell? Let's just take it. We'll deal with it later. So, we got some doors over here. What do we got going on? Not much. At all. Do, 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 do. These rooms don't appear to have a whole lot that's interesting going on. Okay, down the stairs it is. <laughs> so somewhere there should be a jail door, which is where I need to use this key for. Yep, perfect. I see the arrows, but I want to check. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. A lot of little locked doors. I use the intercom now. <gasps> oh. Is she dead? Damn it. Sorry, dude. Bad news. <laughs> Alright, we'll head back upstairs, we'll talk to him. I don't even know what he's there for, like how he's relevant to anything, but... I'm not gonna not tell him the news, that seems rude. Do 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 And up. Here? Eh, it looks likely. Hey. Did you find my friend? Yeah, unfortunately. I see. Well, spare me the details. Sorry, dude. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. Alright. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. So, if I hadn't done this, he wouldn't have let me in? He would have, like, shot me or something? Hmm. Oh, bear trap. Oh, he chewed off his leg or something. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Oops. Hmm. No shortage of bear traps. I'm afraid I'm going to walk too far forward. And accidentally set it off. Stairs up. Okay, I'm gonna explore the ground floor first. What is this? Nothing, just a bunch of big bolts, okay. Take the Oh! God damn it! Where the fuck was it? In the wall? Shit. Ugh. Oh, good thing I got those doctor's bags.
Oh, it was a trip cord. Or... Wait. Did I get shotgunned? But I was hurt on the right side. I'm confused. Alright. No! Are you fucking kidding me? This whole thing was just a big fucking trap? Ugh. God damn it! I shouldn't stimpack quite so much if I'm outside of combat. Uh, let's have uh, another slider. I'm gonna die to like traps down here. I don't think it's strictly necessary for me to go up in this direction, but it seems like fun, so that's what I'm doing. Hope he doesn't have more traps up here. Ooh, jet is nice. Not that I tend to use drugs very much, but they weigh nothing and they actually sell pretty good. He left all his bullets here. Got another computer way over there. Hopefully it won't overload as well. Those are the stairs I could have gone up. <laughs> Save. There we are. Custodial terminal. Shared access. Shipment mistake. Robco HQ. Dear Robco Supply, first let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's super to be part of a company as exciting as Robco. Have we got some kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what those things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Robco think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. All Repcon staff, in light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading of Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace behavior safety policy. Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. Sincerely, Daniel Nevitt. Okay. Shipment sent back. <laughs> so, people were using the Stealth Boys to do mischief. Hi, Robco. We are sending back two crates of devices labeled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contains one gross of the devices as a result of employee misbehavior. Not mine. One crate was open and is missing five stealth boys. Sorry about that. Alright, that's funny and I guess explains where all the stealth boys came from. Oh, I'm going to overburden myself picking up stupid shit that I don't need. Okay, let's do a quick pass here. The sword is worth a lot. Pistol, not so much, but was doing well for me. These grenades don't weigh much and they sell for a lot of money, so I want to keep them. Um, I could really drop these helmets. Yeah, what the hell? They're probably pretty easy to replace. I'm going to keep the Robert Rover's hat, though. Okay, and I'm now okay. Hmm. Can I not? I guess there's not much else to look around here. I feel like I'm probably missing something, but... <laughs> Jumping sound effects are entirely necessary. No, nope, nothing to see here. Okay, drop down. Save. And... Let's go back upstairs. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Hopefully the guys aren't dicks. Hopefully we actually get a reward. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, this way. Right. Just saw all the bodies and I got kind of concerned. <laughs> then I realized I made that mess. It's totally, totally okay. I don't mind bodies when I know their source anyway. As long as their source is not too creepy. Mm. Knock, knock. And where are you, Jason Bright? Are you in this room? Or are you upstairs? Probably. Look, the ceiling is cracked and glowing. There you are. 
Shouldn't be too hard to find. You're freaking glow in the dark, man. Is the way clear? Yep. The demons are gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. Where the rockets are? I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Really? You're cool with me coming? Wow. And you're running. Yeah. No, I totally want to come. This is awesome. I mean, I don't want to come when you go, like, into the fucking sun. But otherwise, it sounds like... Whoa. Apparently, I'm not the only guy dressed as an astronaut. Who is that? Was that Jason Bright? Bright follower. They're just all going to dress themselves up like astronauts. I'm totally ready! I want to go into outer space, but not the sun. This is so cool. Oh. Oh, I lost him. Mm, I think it was down this way. There's a quick way out there, too, so it's not like the end of the world to chase these guys down. Down the stairs. Ugh, I can't leap over that. I'm too tall, I keep bumping my head into things. Alright, we're gonna wrap this up any second now, but I wanna get to the place with the thing. You know, the place. With the thing. <laughs> it's like a half-decent base of operations, too, as I remember. Like, the workbench and the loading bench. Did I go through? Yeah, okay, there's the entrance. Cool, so it's very easy to get back here. Made some new friends and everything. Hello. Hope you don't mind, I took one of your I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad. Wow. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital Do you need the stuff from the little baby rockets? If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. Because that would be funny. He can tell you what is missing. I got 74 of those. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Well, Your you can give me stuff. A blessing. We will remember you always. Until we plunge into the sun. Uh, are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Okay. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. Well, I don't know, but... I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Okay. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. I'd like that. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. Uh-huh. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Right. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity mm -hmm. and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It isn't it? It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Okay. Your redeemers both. So you're going to leave Chris behind? That doesn't actually seem very nice. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. Oh, okay. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Um, wow. Huh. You have been using him, actually. Like, you know what? It's none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. It's very nice of you. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Ciao. Okay, so... I right, may as well follow him. Hey there. Hi, Chris. Oh, there's the hatch. Can we follow you through there? No, of course not. Damn it. Poor Chris. Oh man. 
I feel so bad for him. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Uh huh. So the Great Journey will use those rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Right. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Yeah. Of course. Okay, materials. Uh, why won't, don't they let you work down the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. Mm -hmm. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. And apparently it's full of radiation. Oh. Am I doing... Am I being just as mean by not telling him? But no, I said it's none of my business. If he wants to pretend he's a ghoul, fine. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were... Uh -huh. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent... I probably have that. a set of thrust control modules. I don't know about that one. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. Mm -hmm. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container Just of the igniting one? agent. I think I have 74. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. Hmm. They won't even launch without them. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll track down the ignition agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. So what about these rocket souvenirs? Yes, that's isotope 239, alright. And there's enough here to launch the rockets. I bet there is. No. So. Hmm. Any tips? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. So, alright, the radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin, but you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I guess that's it. I was human once, you know. Ooh, there's a vault. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Can you mar mark it on my map? Nice upbringing. If you like assault rifles and targets that don't shoot people, not so nice then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. <laughs> he likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome <laughs> won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. That's weird. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. Dude, you're just going There's bald. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. Yeah, probably. Okay, um... You left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. He must have a had monster. a great head of hair before this. <sighs> Do I have speech 50? I, I think it would highlight differently if I didn't. Jason told me himself, the great journey is for ghouls only. You're not going. Oh, God. You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, no. How could they do this to me? For two years? I hope I can still My complete God, I've been the rocket quest, actually. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? Hmm. One hell of a joke! I don't want to encourage this behavior. No, that'd be murder, Chris. Like, no, you're no murderer. What, you think I'm too stupid of to pull not. it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. I hope... Yeah, um... You'd never forgive yourself. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? Dude, you can stop they talking like that. Me, and now they'll throw me away. <sighs> They'd take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Man, you are way too emo. They're going to revere you as a saint. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? Apparently. What a crock. 
The human race can't stand me. Well, you're right. I can't stand you either. <laughs> They're making it so hard for me not to say, yeah, just fucking sabotage the rocket. But these, I, 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 I want to see them launch. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland? Whoa, whoa, is that whoa, it? whoa, 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 whoa. That's not necessarily what I said, but there is a little town called Novak down the road that you could stay there. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess. I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. Novak's gonna be a nice little town. Alright, so, the next step on that quest, which I'm not going to continue quite now, is uh, find the parts, and I do have a location map at the scrapyard, which is somewhere I want to go at some point anyway, and going to town is going to be good to store my stuff and or sell stuff. So yeah, we're going to call it quits now, I hope you enjoyed it, nice little session, fun times, fun characters, and uh, we'll pick it up again real soon. See ya folks.